The Resiliency Hub was started and is a nonprofit to promote the health and well being on the Colorado Plateau through the integration of infrastructure, ecology, and economy. And the community garden is our flagship project at this time where we've transformed one year ago, this was a vacant, fenced off lot. And so over the course of the past year, a group of community uh, and, and people involved with the Resiliency Hub has designed and implemented this garden space that is meant to mimic the mimic a uh, natural creek system and we get flood irrigation water every five days courtesy of our neighbor. He shares his water rights with us so that we're able to flood irrigate the property. It has a, um, an initial channel that the water flows through and fills up when that's full. It raises and extends out onto some floodplain uh, bench terraces and really soaks in the uh, in really well and gets everything good and wet here. Uh, most of the vegetation we're seeing was applied as seeds um, last summer, and then it's just roared forth in a whole diversity of wildflowers, uh, clover, blanket flower, alfalfa, um, and then we've been adding a whole range of additional medicinal and multifunctional and culinary herbs. So with the idea that we'll be able to harvest tea from the site and then we make tea and serve it to people during our uh, different community events. Hi, I'm Claire Kaur. I'm one of the founding members of the Resiliency Hub. And this is Hazel. Um, we're standing in front of the the tea bus where we're eventually going to be serving tea and that acts as a way to bring the community together to have a reason to come down to this space, have a conversation, talk about the garden and talk about uh, community sustainability. Um, some other aspects of, of sustainability and community resilience that we're seeing here are these cement pavers that look a lot like flagstone that you'd see on a lot of patios but they're actually um, upcycled uh, cement sidewalks that were taken out from a development that was happening in another part of town and they were going to be heading to the landfill but we asked to have them be dropped off here and we've turned them into a really nice patio. Um, another interesting aspect is is all of the blue and green that you see running through here. That's um, sea glass. That's um, bottles that have been taken out of the recycling center and tumbled in a cement mixer with water and sand and turned into sea glass that's safe to walk on and also really beautiful while also um, taking things out of the waste stream and putting them into use here in our community. Yeah, so what we have here are upcycled earthen benches. These are made out of the same urbanite concrete as the um, patio here. That's the base for the benches. And then we had a community workshop where we had students from Community Rebuilds, a local um, building nonprofit, come out and help us with the natural plaster. And we used <laughs> we used a combination of clay, straw, and water to finish the top of these benches. So they're all from natural and upcycled materials. So in addition to planting a whole range of flowering plants to provide uh, pollen and nectar for pollinators, we've also um, started our the first bee hotel in Moab, um, where a range of native bees and can uh, come to to stay the night, put their pupae in, and help to propagate increased populations of pollinators. Um, another feature that I'd like to point out is our milkweed patch. Um, Moab is on some of the migratory routes of monarch butterflies, so as part of an effort to support those populations, we've planted milkweed in the garden here, and it has been spreading and growing and uh, doing really well, so we're hoping to see some monarchs this season.